welcome to another Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Today, we're going down under. We're going to the outback. We're going apocalyptic. In a post-apocalyptic game of adventure and survival in ruined Australia. I'm talking about Waste Nights from Galacta, Galacta Games. Easy for you to say. Um, and I came about this in an interesting way. Have you ever made a mistake? And instead of just owning up to your mistake, you kind of doubled down on it. Uh, and, uh, you know, let, kept, kept going with it. So in, in this case here, I, as part of uh, Kilroy's Bargain, I'm always on the look out for bargains and, uh, picking up games, uh, at, uh, bargain basement prices. And I uh, saw a bargain for this game, Waste Nights, or at least I thought it was Waste Nights, and uh, picked it up. And when I got it, well, it wasn't Waste Nights. It was Waste Nights Tales from the Outback, a Kickstarter upgrade, which is basically adds all the Kickstarter uh, stuff that uh, when this uh, to Waste Nights Second Edition, right there. Uh, and you know, new new scenarios, uh, new some new minis, some new content that uh, was provided when you got the Kickstarter. So you know what I said? What the heck? Uh, I picked this up. I thought it was this. The description I thought was really this. So I, you know, that's me. That's on me, right? I'm gonna own up to that, sorta. So, uh, so instead of just you know taking this, I thought about doing this as a giveaway. But uh, how many people have Waste Nights, right? So I decided, what the heck, I'll go pick up Waste Nights. So then I had to look around and find Waste, Night, Waste Nights 2nd Edition uh, and, um, and pick this up. So this is why you have it today. Now, I didn't spend an arm and a leg for this. Uh, I didn't spend retail. But uh, it, it took a little bit of, of finding this at a decent price, but by no means a bargain. Um, I could have just sat with the Waste Nights Tales from the Outback and... As I said, done a giveaway or just uh, maybe harvested the minis out of it because it was a pretty, pretty good price. Uh, however, I went out and got Waste Nights. Now, this isn't that big of a stretch for me because I've collected quite a bit and, and cl collect and play quite a bit of post-apocalyptic games. Um, you know, one of my... Uh, favorite that is right on point to this target is a Defenders of the Last Stand, uh, which was based on Defenders of the Realm and is kind of a States of Siege type uh, system. Uh, and it's set in, uh, I believe that one's set in Australia as well, but so it's Defenders of the Last Stand. So I'll probably uh, have to break, break that out and show you that. That's a kind of an epic game. It's big, big board, minis, all kinds of stuff. Uh, but it has some of the same theme here in that you're surviving in a post-apocalyptic uh, world. And, and maybe even, I think that one's even Australia. Um, I also have, uh, you know, Fallout, the the board game. And I've covered some uh, content on Fallout. Uh, and that, 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 I think, is kind of close to this. This is, I think, a kind of a quest game. Uh, and you're going to be developing a, somewhat of, a, of an RPG experience in this game, in this world. And that's what, that's what the Fallout, the, the board game, uh, kind of does. Uh, and I've also, I also have Post Human, which is, um, uh, again, post-apocalyptic and somewhat, somewhat supernatural. I mean, uh, in the, you have mutants. I think you have mutants in this game. I think all, all these have mutants in them. That's what you get with uh, with uh, a nuclear fallout, right? And um, so anyway, so I, I've got others as well, but those are ones that just kind of come to mind that play in this same space. So it's one of the reasons that when Waste Nights first came out, uh, even the first edition and then the second edition, I, I didn't jump on it because I have I've kind of scratched that itch. I kind of have games that deal with that theme and with that kind of gameplay. So I, I didn't go that route, but you know now, now now via Tales from the Outback I have gone that route. So now I have something to compare it to. So I'll compare it to those other games. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. As you can see, this is then this is heavy. This is a heavy box here. There's a lot in this box. Uh, you got you have minis in this box. You have a map of of Australia, and this is and it's a hex map, which is a little bit different than some of the other games I mentioned. Um, and uh, 
you've got a lot of cards that are representing not only your characters, but some of their abilities, and then all the baddies, of course, that you're going to encounter. And so this is quite a full experience. And yet another reason why I kind of stayed away from it, because between Defenders of the Last Stand and Fallout and Post-Human, those are, those are full experiences as well. And did I really need another, you know, uh, in, um, uh, investment in this uh, genre. Anyway, Waste Nights. Uh, welcome. Oh, let's, let's, God, I'm weak. So, welcome to the Waste. Desolate and ruined Australia, full of feral beast, haywire, cybernetic constructs, mutants, and ruthless gangs prowling the Badlands. Half a century and one global disaster called the Scourge. Uh, into the future, uh, every day is a battle for survival, and you are among those who are best fit to win. As one of the Waste Knights, you brave the threats of the road to seek adventure, resources, and fame, or notoriety, which, while facing terrible dangers and experiencing stark wonders of this harsh reality, a new world is being forged from the ashes of the old civilizations. You will, you, you will embrace it or die trying. Waste Night 2nd Edition is a post-apocalyptic game of adventure and survival. It is scenario-based with each story governed by a different rule set and filled with hundreds of narrative choices. Play cooperatively uh, to bring down powerful villains or challenge your friends in competitive adventures. But most of all, immerse yourself in rich setting in which adventures thrill, uh, which adventures, thrill and combat strategy blend into unique gaming experience. So let's get in this and see what we have. Um... The, uh, um, the, the, the fact that it's cooperative play means that this probably lends itself to solo. And I think this is, has a solo, I believe this has a solo engine in it, uh, or a solo, um, AI, or at least mechanism to play solo. But a lot of times cooperative games are not too hard to take on over into the uh into solo play get the box open here now the question is will all the stuff in tales from the outback fit in this box well we shall see and that there's a spoiler alert i'll probably do uh wait for later today i'll do an unboxing of tales from the outback uh, I, I waited to, until i got this to, to do that one so here's your rule book um You've got some chronicles. Uh, you have an Outback Chronicles sheet on the back here. So I'll probably make a copy of that so that uh, I can mark that up. I don't want to mark on the book. You've got an index. You've got credits. You've got a threat token overview. So really rules-wise, you're looking at 13 pages. And let's say you've got solo mode there. So about 13 pages of rules. You have the first page is Looks like it's all background and context. You've got all the different components. And there's quite a few in here, as you can see. Oh, there's a card deck holder. Okay, cool. Here's game setup. Here's player setup. So here's your individual player board. And you're ever if as a player you're gonna have a vehicle. So, you know, think Mad Max, uh, you're going to have, you know, motorcycle or armored car or some, some type of vehicle that you're going to be taking through the outback. So you got fuel there, you got weapons, it's got unique dice, uh, just like, you know, Fallout has a very unique combat dice system, uh, a system that some people really don't like. But um, this one has one as well between, you know, green dice are better than white dice and, uh, and, and based on your skill set for your character and then any, anything that's any dice that are added by your weaponry or equipment uh, will uh, add the, the dice that you roll for successes. Here's playing the game. Kind of small, uh, not necessarily, it's kind of dual column, but there's like these little boxes and stuff that pop up all over the place. And then uh, print is relatively small, but I mean, you are talking only 13 pages, so maybe it's not that bad. Here's the different types of dice here. You got success, fate, and botched, or botch. Don't want to roll botch. Here's your night sheet overview. Let's take a look at that there. 
So you see some of the different areas. You got experience points. So there is somewhat of an RPG feel to this in that you're leveling up your character or, or advancing them along the way. Here's combat. It's about a page of combat. Not too bad. Other rules. Got all kinds of different gear cards and everything. And uh, what I've heard about this, a little bit I've seen online, this is one of the, it's very uh, immersive, very interesting. You know, if you want uh, apocalyptic RPG experience on a board, then this is good for that. One of the downsides of it is um, a lot of the scenario it is scenario based and a lot of scenarios are feel more like a race that, that, you know, you don't have a lot of time to just go out and explore you're you're kind of on a tight time uh frame to get to what you're you know to, to accomplish what you need to accomplish so it feels more race like and not as just kind of roaming the land but uh but you know having said that um you know defenders of the last stand was kind of that way as well because it was a state of siege where everybody was kind of converging on you and so there was areas to go out and, and pick up stuff and, and explore. However, uh, didn't have a lot of time to do that. You you went out to get that because you needed it to fight the baddies that were converging on you. So it was very tight and tense in that regard. Not a lot of time just to, you know, wasn't didn't have a sandbox feel. Um, you know, Fallout had a little bit of a sandbox feel to it. Uh, but it also kind of had a little bit of the, you know, choose your own adventure type feel as well so you know even though it was sandboxy some of the decisions um you know kind of block blocked you uh, from from doing other stuff um post-human post-human had a little bit of sandbox but that that had a little bit of a tight time frame as well so may, maybe tight tense tight frames are are par for the course with these kind of games so there you go we've seen those pages here are the tokens token boards are you know that's decent thickness it's not super thick but not thin at all just good size thickness a lot of punch outs there here's that card holder or card box that you have to put together to hold your hold the cards cool and another token set so quite a few tokens. I mean, only uh, one, only one full page, so not that uh, one full sheet, so not uh, not overwhelming by any stretch of the imagination. Here's the board. We'll take a look at that separately. Ooh, we got a tray in here. Oh, nice big. Didn't realize the the player cards were so big. Wasn't expecting that. And this has an adventure book, too, or a kind of a... This has a little bit of a choose-your-own-adventure feel, too. They have a, a book that you're going to refer to on reactions and stuff. Here's your Waste Nights Guide. So we had that rule book, but here's the Waste, waste Nights Guide. I'm going to have a hard time saying that. So th this is the uh, the scenarios that you're going to go through. So here's Trouble in the South. So you have Setup, Goal, Plot Special Rules, and then... Um, and then you have it. I don't want to go into this too much because uh, might be some spoilers here, right? Because this is a, and this is, shows you the time, how many people can play, and easy. So this is a, a solo game here, solo setup. So this is a whole book of those, and I don't want to go into too much here because there might be some uh, spoilers alerts, uh, spoilers in there. So spoiler alert, there might be spoilers in there. Oh, we got a Waste Night bag. Cool. We got some more goodies in here. Looks like these might be the vehicles. And we've got some, so let's take a look at this first. Here's your player reference cards. We've got four of them here. So that tells you how to do combat. And then the back tells you the turn. So there's a knight's turn. Move, camp action, explore, city action, plot action, special action. There's your map legend. And then on the back is combat. So good. Then you have your vehicles here. You can do a bike. Look at that off-road. Another off-road. Sand buggy. Truck. And muscle car. And the chassis is kind of its health. So, um, what's the truck? Truck's got the biggest chassis. 
and you've got um, fuel that it could hold, I guess. Maybe this is what it can carry in its tires, maybe. I'm not certain. i got to read up on this. But uh, So you got some vehicles to choose from there. That's cool. There's the dice. I told you are different. Greens are better than whites. And the other ones I think you just get. Those might be like special dice you can get from time to time. Uh, let's see what else we get. Let's look at the minis. And I think there's more minis. So I don't know how that, all that. I'm just lo just looking at this. I got this much space, so it looks like I'm probably going to be keeping this box because <laughs> I can't see how. Uh, uh, maybe the minis might fit in here. Maybe I can fit everything into, into this space here because I th think there's four new minis that come in the other one. Here's some of the characters you can play. Cool. Yeah, I'm not a painter, so... Uh, these look fine to me. Uh, but your mileage may vary. Got some over here. That's cool. Little plastic tokens. So that's your medicine and that's your fuel. That's cool. I like that. I like the tactile feel of that. These are for the bases to keep track. Of, I guess who your character is. You'll put that around the base of the uh, of the mini. Then we get into some of the. Well, let's get in the player boards while we're at it here. Oops having my own Outback Adventure over here. Okay. Whoops. It was a little bit harder to get open than I expected. Things becoming shrink wrap these days. I think there's a whole new book that comes with uh, the uh, expansion. The, when you bought the Kickstarter, I think they did it in one book. And th this book right here had like an extra 100 pages. And so I think they just took those 100 pages and put it into that expansion uh, upgrade kit is what they're calling it. Ah, jeez. So there's the book. And I really can't get into this. This is Book of Tales. I can't really go into this one because there are definitely spoilers in here uh, because it's all turn, it's all you know, choose your own adventure paragraph based. Turn to a paragraph, read, and then you've got some choices. So really can't do much with that uh, with you all. Plus, I don't want to spoil it for myself. Uh, so here's some of the characters you can play. There's Shallow Lee. And oh, you got a little bit on the back. You've got a uh, little bit of a background on that person. And then or their backstory, maybe. And then you've got their hands. This is stuff that this is the equipment they can hold or weapons. They got armor and resilience, health, and then some special abilities. These are the camp and exploration. Oh, no, they, everybody has that. But they have, it's a little bit different, though. Because his exploration's two, this one's exploration's three. So they got some different special abilities. This guy's really good with blades. As you can see, he's got two green dice there with blades and only one white with guns. Where this person is two white with blades and two green with guns. So better with guns. Johnny Taylor, Nellie Thompson, Zoe Shaw. She's really good at repair. And repair, I think, is like when your equipment, when you're, you've used your equipment or it gets flipped over or whatever, it can, you can flip it back. And uh, so I think, that's, I think that's what that deals with. It might deal with your vehicle as well. Logan Harris and uh, Alinta. Alinta. There we go there. A little bit of her backstory. So pretty cool there. Let's get in some of the cards here, and then we'll look at the map. See what that holds for us. I'm gonna go ahead and open up, do a little bit of starter on each one of these cards here. So, what do you think of this game? Have any of you played it? Uh, this and and it's uh, well, if you have the Kickstarter edition, you you've already got all the content from Tales from the Outback. But uh, this or Tales from the Outback, have you uh, played this? What do you think about it? Feel free to put your comments down below. So these are one through ten cards here. So these might be some of the bad guy. Ooh, Cerebro Pilgrims, man. Those don't look. Those look nasty. So see, these are some of the things you're going to encounter. So, not good. And these might be. So those look like baddies of some sort. Oh, we got got another pack right there. I didn't open up. 
And then these are encounters as well. So these are baddies as well. So these are, like I guess, random encounters. Ooh, Desert Lords. I kind of like the graphics. I think it looks, uh, I kind of like it. It looks cool. Ooh, Sandworm. A la Dune. So, all kinds of different encounters there. Um, let's get these... Didn't, didn't need the knife for that. My knife skills are, my blade skills are low. So, uh, so these might be tied on the terrain. So this type of terrain, and then you, yeah, so those are the different types of terrain. So you got like that type of terrain, what an encounter might be. You've got uh, this type of terrain, or sorry, this type of terrain. And then I don't know if this is just, these look different. I don't know what these cards do. Oh, this is might be something you do at the beginning of a turn, kind of how stuff is staged out. Because it looks like you're placing resources. So that might be more of a resource thing there. So these are other different types of counters based on this type of terrain. We got the hillbillies. Those look fun. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, so those are the cards you get. Those are the big cards. These littler ones, or these little ones, the little ones, are going to be, um, I, thought I, I did start these, are going to be uh, your equipment and uh, weapons and all kinds of stuff like that. Stuff you pick up. Like binoculars. And so there's two sides to it. I think there's one side, but when, and then when it's like that side is... Uh, I guess this, well, that's how much it costs to repair that, maybe. Or maybe that's the repair roll. Let's, let's flip to this side here. Here's adrenaline. Lot of, all kinds of stuff here. Some different statuses. Broken arm, broken leg. Overconsumption. Uh, stiff suspension. That might deals with your vehicle. So you got some statuses and some uh, equipment there. Then this one might have more of that, and then it looks like it might maybe have some of the um, weapons. Yeah, so pistol, sawed-off shotgun, knife, barbed wire club. That's that's kind of a staple of post-apocalyptic, right? Katana. Those are just lying around. Sledgehammer. All right. Hunting rifle. Vest. You got some trash armors. You got some uh, armor as well. It's got some pills, so this might not be necessarily the most uh, kid-friendly type game because you you're going to have some... It is post-apocalyptic, but you're going to have some drugs involved with this game as well. Boomerang, of course. You have to have a boomerang. There you go, all that stuff. Now we can take a look at the uh, at the board. Take a gander at the board here, which is big and mounted. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. It's got a pair of pants fold there. So, and then, oops. And I might have to go a little up periscope for this. Get a little bit better view of this here. Got my boxes are in the way. There you go. So that is the board. And good size board. I mean, not 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 so big. I think this might be. I think it might be a little bit smaller than Defenders of the Last Stand. But um, but this actually covers more territory, uh, and it's a hex grid. You're going to have some cities or civilizations here, like New Sydney and Alice Offsprings, and you got all, you got different types of terrain, as you can see here. And you've got some of the like um, radiation symbols and uh, exclamation points. Those might be special uh, events or interactions that happen there. You've got a track down here that goes to 10. You've got a big 
box up there, some holding box of some sort. It's not labeled. Then you have a kind of a terrain key up there showing what how what it costs to move through some of that, uh, the different types of terrain. These are the no movement, so those totally block terrain. And there you have it. So this is what you get in a box of Waste Nights, second edition. Uh, I, I'm I'm liking what I, I'm you know what I'm seeing, and uh, I came about this kind of a backwards way, um, but uh, well, you know, not 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 intentionally getting into it. I kind of forced myself to get into this, but that's okay too, because this is uh this looks very interesting and uh oop, players are falling out there. Let's put the rules over here. Let's get the rule book there. And there you have it. That is Waste Nights uh second edition from Galacta Games and uh up next will be Tales from the Outback. So uh, there you have it. Uh, I, I, I'm, I like it. I like what I see here. Um, again, I've got a lot in this space already, so uh, I have something to compare it to. And I'll probably do a, maybe I'll do a comparison video of these, of this genre. And maybe I'll do a, uh, possibly do a Kilroy Key 3. I need to play this a little bit more. I need to play it and then play it a little bit more before I can do that assessment, but uh, be on the lookout for that as well. So there you go. That's Waste Night 2nd Edition. Thank you so much for stopping by on Sci-Fi Fantasy Saturday. Love to know your thoughts on this. Uh, what do you think about this? Pros, cons, good, bad, ugly. Uh, just keep it civil. Take care, all. Thanks for watching.